The Artist Researcher Project was brought to the Walnut Hills community by List Greater Cincinnati Design Impact and Arts Wave. Throughout this slide, you will see the artists out in the community interviewing, engaging, and building relationships. Each artist was employed to go into the Walnut Hills streets, discover a problem, and as a result of that, come up with a project based off of their skill set that either neutralized the problem with some sort of solution while simultaneously engaging residents to continue the conversation around this theme. We had a little bit of everyone participating, elementary children, high school students, college students, families, singles, and so on and so forth. Low income, middle class, Southwest quadrant, Northwest quadrant. We were able to draw from many different perspectives. Artists canvassed the neighborhood while also attending very important community meetings around art, education, safety, and housing. As they ventured out with the residents, they used food as a place to come together during lunches and dinners. They also interacted with residents during their day-to-day -day activities. A common thing that came up through a lot of conversations and interactions was that segregation and discrimination is infiltrating education, housing, jobs, entrepreneurship, food access, families, and the psychological and mental portion of the residents. As a result of these themes continuously popping up throughout many different interactions, each artist obviously decided that they were going to take on some of these themes and implement it into their final ideas. Two of our artists lived in the neighborhood while two previously lived there, but we encouraged them to partner with a resident from Walnut Hills. The point of this type of interaction was to ensure that the artist was getting information in real time and also empower the resident to come up with ideas in order to program in the community to continue the conversation around this theme of how segregation and class race discrimination is affecting the cultural makeup. Quickly into the Artist Researcher Project, we were able to witness a longtime grocer in Walnut Hills close its doors to the community after decades of service. A longtime under-resourced, underfunded elementary school also witnessed a brand new school open less than a block from its school. While residents continuously expressed to us that the places that they live in were being vacated due to building code violations and management not notifying them that it would be sold. The interesting observation of these three examples in many key findings in this project is that most people living and using these spaces are low income and are African American. While there are many wonderful things happening in Walnut Hills through the arts, music, food, and even social services, the essentials are not being advocated for correctly. And as a result, we are still seeing the fear and the trauma that's sweeping throughout many urban communities being redeveloped. Alan Haley finally formed his project as a documentary that produced interviews that explored solutions to combat segregation that are currently being implemented within the community. Herschel Johnson decided since discrimination and injustice can sometimes be minimized in the education system that he would involve the youth voice for an exterior crest project at the local Catholic school St. Francis de Sales. Michael Ellison was born and raised and still resides in the neighborhood of Walnut Hills. He wanted to offer up his observations through photography as a conversation starter to make the positive change in the neighborhood that everyone wants to see. After creating many relationships, Benjamin Thomas created We Are Cincinnati. It's a mural project that recognizes and uplifts those who have been overlooked and held down in low income communities. By the way of murals, he will connect people to resources and help get their voices heard in a way like never before.